How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Batman Telltale series. We're going to carry on with episode 4. We left off uh, crashing through the barricade and then we should be back at the Wayne Mansion now I think with Selina. So let's uh, continue and find out. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice. Throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? No, Lizzie, I'll protect don't you. Don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Don't you get it, I'm Bruce? I'm a billionaire. Harvey catching you cash whatever I want. him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Yeah, uh, I've... Yeah, why not? I, uh... I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with... all of this. Lost my girlfriend. Alfred! So sad. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Okay, well then, why don't you just help me? Hey, Alfred. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vell's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan, then. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. Alright, let's find a cure. It's, uh, we got the drug and we got the DNA. What's this update codex? Updated. Oh, this is all the people now, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Everyone's kind of there. Okay, brilliant. Right, let's try it. Let's try it. What's this one? Is this the Gotham feed? We don't care about that. Right. Drug molecule. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. And then DNA. Here's my DNA before the incident. Okay, let's connect the two. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. Oh, sweet. We can All cure right. others if they're going to be a doctor. No. So, what have I got to do? Wish that were um, this cure is based on. Oh, I got you. I got you. It'll only work for me. Okay. That to looks... cure other people, we'd have to. Sample and Correct. decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. We don't okay. have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. That one? I think so. That looks like it. Next one. This one's got to have two prongs at the bottom. Aha! I have created the cure. That should do it. Okay, let's grab that. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. 
Oh, oh, we're gonna do it. If you're scared of needles, people, this is it. You better look away now. Yo! All the blue veins Hopefully have gone. That does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. I feel better already. So, what are we going oh, to do instant. now? instant. First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Okay. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish things to, she, let's just do that. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No it's offense. John Doe. Toward your He's, uh, he knew now, Vicky was Lady Arkham. No, we should, well. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. <sighs> I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. I'm inside the Vale House. Alright. Move deeper into the house to get a better look. Okay, well someone's bit okay, there's a dead body. Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. Wait, I don't know how this is connected. They got no eyes, the man. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Okay. What? Okay, wait. Let's look at the couch first. Let's inspect the evidence. Syringe. We're going to connect everything. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Okay, let's have a look at the body. Yeah. Her I don't know why they take the eyes out. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Oh, hello. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Right, let's connect oh, this to that. My guess is that's correct. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Okay, sweet. We got a family photo. Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. There's Veil heating and stuff, that is. That look, well, that's such a cool photo. It was like Commissioner Gordon back in the day. Uh, what else we got? No. 
Okay, let's go this way. Aha! Ooh, blood splatter. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. Okay, well, I can't connect that to the photo, so... Aha! What are you? You are hair. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Right. Well, I don't see how that's linked to the photo. Anything in the fridge? What's the pantry? Another dead body. Looks like there was some blood going across there on the floor, was there? I was correct. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. Why are his eyes maybe still in? Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Oh, the logo. Looks like a company logo. Sweet, I can go... Hold on. The Check belt the belt. buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Oh, I think I can connect everything now. Right. Logo to the photo. There we go. And let him do that. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. Oh, that's where she and is. Now Vicky's got it. Okay, why is she killing her parents, man? And then this would be the indentation of the belt around Daddy's neck. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. Sweet. Okay. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. Uh. Oh, hello. What have we got here? We got a knife. Didn't get to finish their dinner, it looked like. Oh. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Because he was eating his food. Look. Food. No? Okay. There's something else I'm missing. That's got to connect to something. Ah, what's that? Oh, that's it. Okay. Oh, I forgot about the hair. Link the hair to the knife. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Oh, God. Scan. Clear. Nothing here. Well, of course nothing's gonna... It's a bloody oven and a pipe. Ah, oh, you guys, you need to scan for upstairs, mate. Why would I... There, scan. Hold on, wait. Oh, let's scan that. She's gonna... Anything? She's not gonna be heated. Yeah, she's... She's cold, no. it looks like. Okay, scan upstairs.
There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. Oh, it's the boy in the photo. Knock, knock. Uh, let's go with that one. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Okay, let's go with. Hey, it's gonna be We're gonna okay. go nice and softly it's now. Be all right. I need your help. Sorry, I scared you. I'm sorry, I scared you. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I. I heard someone say something. Something about. Drugs, fighting the police, I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they're hidden here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down. <laughs> What the hell is this? It's a drone! Well, hello, Batman. What a <laughs> pleasure to see you. Is that John? Penguin. Oh, no. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. It sounded like the Joker. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little bat traps all over the city. But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out to the open. Go, go. Ah. Oh. That's it, just leave the boy. Go, go, go. There we go. The hell? That was a very clever little boy. Actually, it was. Well done. I want to know his name. Are you okay? No, that's good. Good job, kid. Nice work, kid. <gasps> oh, yeah. Ah, uh, about that. They're dead. Oh, my God. He's never... Look at what... I'm sorry. You need to be... Oh, my God. It'll be better if you don't look. Oh. It's never gonna like forget that, is he? They weren't always nice, but they gave me a place to live. I promise, I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman, and no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? I have no clue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. 
He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. And so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Of course. Let's get a closer look at you. Alright, well, let's figure out why this didn't work then. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Okay, we'll take the next bit off. Uh, rotate the device to determine malfunction. Okay, let's go. Back panel. Electricity conductor. Everything looks functional. It should have worked. Okay, side panels. There we go. EMP functionality is all in the green. Right, so what... It doesn't make any sense. What's, what's done this? Okay. There's this bit. Circuit board. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. Okay, uh, this is your fault. Don't that blame yourself. Let's, yeah, let's be nice. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls, but if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. Let's go, let's turn, no time for stealth to uh, yeah, tread carefully. I'll see if we can take you the stealth route. risk losing the element of surprise. I say you do what you need to do, as stealthily as possible. Good plan, I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Harvey is scared, paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. Then again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. Oh, Harvey's God. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable. Yeah. Random. Who knows how he will react by the way? Uh, we could go Batman or go Bruce. Well, he hates Bruce. Let's put it that way because uh, I got in there with Selena, <sighs> you know. But uh, Batman might. Uh, did I do Batman with uh, Mayor Hill? Didn't I? I think should we do Batman again? 
Tonight, Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. There we go. Okay, guys, we're going to leave that there. I hope you enjoyed it. It looks like uh, Vicky is... They're still on the run, the Arkham of Children. Let's put it that way. But Vicky's a little bit more mental than we thought because she's killed her family. But at least we saved that boy. We're now going to go see Harvey and see if we can stop him from kicking Bruce, shall we say, the Wayans, out of our mansion. But I remember on uh, ending of episode three when they said next time on Batman, uh, I remember Harvey kicking in the, the door of the Wayne Manor and having a shotgun and Alfred with an air rifle or something, then trying to protect it. So I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll see how far we get as Batman. If you enjoyed today's episode, remember to hit the like button, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.